everybody. Welcome back to Nikki Vans Live. <laughs> the internet is cutting out. We don't have any electricity. I'm telling y'all, today is, is something else. You know, maybe I'm saying, like I said, it's like leftover from Halloween. I don't know. We got tricks. We got treats. We don't know what's going on. The, the treat was having CJ on for this fantastic interview. The trick was that the power went out and then the internet cut out. But we back. You know, we good. We, you know, we just brush our shoulders off and keep it moving. You know, you must be resilient in the face of adversity. Look, we already got nine people who hopped back on. Love y'all. Welcome back. We got about 20 minutes left of Nikki Vans Live. And we just gonna make it work with load shedding with anything. I don't know. You know, we just... We're just gonna keep it flowing. So let me try and bring CJ back on just now. This is so funny. What tonight on Nikki Man's Live? Thank y'all for hanging in there with us. <laughs> okay, he should be coming on in just a second. Yo! We back, we back. Oh my gosh, I was literally just like, like the video, like your video stopped for me. So I was just talking, talking, talking. I was like, I don't know if anybody can hear me. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just going to keep talking. Yeah. And, then, and then it just ended. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. So I think, yeah, I think your connection, something happened with your connection. Because on our side, it just froze completely. Oh, dang. Okay, so then we both just yeah. froze. Are we good? Oh, we well. good. We back. We back. We back. We back. You know, we good. It's show business. Mm. The show keeps it moving. You know, that, that's, it is I was just saying, it's like the joys of, of having a live show. I like literally posted on LinkedIn earlier this week about like all the different things that I'm learning as a result of having yeah. a live interview series. Like what happens when your guest starts crying during an interview? Yeah. What happens yeah. when your guest tells a, <laughs> tells a very serious like emotional story? What happens like, you know, if, if you and a guest don't have the same like political views, like I have no idea what can happen on this show. It's, it's live and it's yeah. recorded. So, yeah. you know, we just we just go with the flow. <laughs> it's what makes it genuine, right? It's what makes it real. What makes it genuine. People can yeah. can uh, experience it in real time. Exactly. Exactly. And like yeah. I said, for some reason, I can't see the comments. But I'm sure people are like giving us fire emojis and saying that you yeah, know, DJ literally, is fantastic. Literally so fire right now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Keep giving yeah. us all the fire emojis. Okay, so CJ, we have about 15 minutes left. Let me just say once again, <laughs> if anybody has questions for CJ, all of the questions that you had typed in previously like got deleted when the video ended. I'm so sorry. So just go back to that little thought bubble with the question mark, type in questions there. Last 10 minutes, I will make sure to ask CJ your questions. We'll, we'll get those answered for you. You know, shout out to the people who have tuned in here today. Um, yeah. But my, maybe my last question for you, CJ, you know, is just like, you know, what's, what's, what's the, uh, and, and, you know, shout out to all the basketball stories. And so I love it. I love the, I love the banter. Um, yeah. But maybe my last question for you will be just like, what's, what's the vision? You know, what's your vision, not just for, you know, Chomi Bites, but also like for yourself, um, for you as a, as a, you know, as a, as an African leader in tech and entrepreneurship, mm. like what's, what's the long-term vision and goal? Mm. So, I think, I think it's twofold. I think personally, my vision is to be a pioneer. And the whole idea is to go into spaces that don't have certain solutions and bring them there. Um, but as, as a company, and I think that's also quite aligned with, with, with my personal vision, is we want to take e-commerce to the places that the big companies won't go. You know, we really want to take e-commerce in that type of industry to mm -hmm. the countries like Namibia, where there's no Amazon presence, there's no Uber presence, there's no ABCD. So it's the reason why these big company, companies won't go to these places. They think it's, it's a small market. It doesn't make sense for them, blah, 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 blah. But it really depends how you look at it. So mm. we're on a mission to get uh, 1.5 million new online shoppers, basically people that are shopping for the first time online. Uh, and the reason why we launched Chummy Bites because it's it's low hanging fruit, right? It's it's basically the oh, we think it's like the easiest way to usher someone into this e commerce purchasing industry. So you need you need to understand in African context, not everyone's exposed to Uber or and and all that kind of sense. Like for example, on our side, so for thousands of people, we were the first things they ever bought online. We were the first we were the first interaction with purchasing a good online in that type of sense and. The reason why we care so much about this e-commerce space is because it may be the one thing that can give everyone an opportunity to make an income, right? If, if we can really cultivate an, an, an online digital marketplace, anyone with any type of product or idea 
can put it online and sell it to people and people will actually buy it, you know? So this, wow. this 1.5 million new online shoppers is not going to be just our shoppers. They're going to be shoppers for other people as well. Um, and in, in January, we're going to be launching, uh, we're going to be, op we're going to be launching a, 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 a multi-vendor platform, basically allowing people to be able to, um, on the, like, like we did with Chummy Bites in terms of restaurants, now as a, as, a, as a business, you can list your product on there and we will take care of everything else. We'll take care of the logistics and so on. Um, and you can send your link to people and people can buy your product on Chummy and Chummy app. So that's, wow. that's our vision. You know, that's our vision. Really cultivating this e-commerce market. We care about it because I genuinely, genuinely think if we can do that, that's 1.5 million people that will be able to buy from other people online. And it's no more a far-fetched idea. It really creates an industry and gives people the potential to make income. And, and um, yeah. Get, get employed, you know, that kind of sense, yeah. So that's our vision, that's what we want to do. Oh my gosh, I'm so inspired right now. I'm like, let's go, let's get it. I'm like, let me just start a little company so I can get on the, the international, <laughs> Chubby. you know, Chubby, yeah. uh, platform, you know? And like just yeah. all the small yeah. businesses, small business owners, maybe people who sell at markets or whatever, and the way this is going Correct. to expand their platform and the, the types of people who know about them can access them. That is yeah, just it's, incredible. It's gonna, it's gonna be huge, it's gonna be huge. And we've seen it ha work really well before. We've seen it work in China. You know, m majority of the companies in China are trading across city, across, across country um, with WeChat, you know? It, it's what opens yes. up the marketplace. And you know, with, with majority of the population in China actually being considered poor, I guess, lower income individuals, right. they've sort of shifted their mindset to becoming traders. Everyone is a trader. Everyone has something to sell, whether they're uh, having a little um, grocery kind of store with like vegetables and stuff, or they're building, they're making cell phone covers or something. But the yeah. marketplace and like that WeChat and, and the, the people's understanding of e-commerce allowed them to be able to access that market. So for us, someone now, will be limited to their location. A lady that's selling vegetables in a, in a certain area of town is limited to the people selling there. But as soon as we understand and grow the on online market, she can sell to everyone in the city. She can sell to people across country, people in other countries, you know? So it really just yes. opens up, it really opens up the market. And I think if, if it can work in China, and, and there's, many, there's many things about China and, and, and Africa that are quite similar, even though they're, they're quite, quite a bit advanced and because they focus on certain things, um, but there's similarities. And based on my studies, it, it, it would have a very similar effect here because as Africans, we actually have a natural born, we're actually more inclined to trade than, than yes. other people, right? For example, yes. in Europe, you won't go into a neighborhood and find um, Germans selling things from their houses in general. It, does, it doesn't really work yeah. that way. So for us, yeah. when things get say. tough, yeah, when, when things get tough, we become creative and we start making bracelets, we start baking, we start doing A, B, C, D, you know, and, and Africans are more inclined to be more comfortable to buy things from other individuals, not necessarily huge companies, you know, so yeah. platforms like this will make a huge, huge difference. But we have to build the platform, but we also have to build the, the user base. We have to usher new people to understand that, listen, this is a real thing and you can trust it. And there's a lot yeah. of work that goes into that. And that's what we're looking to do with Chomi. So with the 1.5 million new online shoppers, that's what we look to bring them into the space and then allow them to trade with each other and obviously including us, but bring them into a place where they can bring value. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, you say that's it. Like, yeah, no big deal. 1.5 million <laughs> across, across the African it. continent, across the maybe any commerce. Yeah, that's it. You know, that's all. Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay. This is just so incredibly motivating. And um, again, these solutions that are born and bred locally to meet the needs of local people and local communities is just, it's, yeah. it's the future, right? Africa is the future and Africa is now. And, 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 you, I agree. Are just, and you are just demonstrating that all the way. I so before I, before I pass it over to the people who have asked questions, and remember, we got that little bubble on the bottom question mark, go there, ask some questions for CJ. Um, I'll be reading this out in just a second. Um, so my, my, before I go on to that, what, give us all the plugs, like give us all the plugs, all the shout outs. What should we be following? How do we get involved? Like plug yeah. all the things for us, yourself, your businesses. We trying to follow, we trying to support. 
Yeah, so I think uh, the real thing you can do is just like follow Chummy Bites, obviously download the app, um, let your friends know about it, um, support the, 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 the low businesses that are on the platform. We have a lot of small restaurants that are pushing orders and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, and just try and, I guess, try and get involved in this e-commerce space. I think your, your participation in that actually goes a long way because just by getting involved and getting more people in there, creating a larger market for um, small businesses, uh, across Namibia and so on, you know? So, um, yeah, follow Chummy Bites, like, whatever. Me, you can see me here, so you can follow, and if you have any questions, I'll also, I'll also answer and stuff like that, you know? The, the usual. <laughs> hey, I love it. I love it. At CJ underscore the connect. If you want to follow CJ on Instagram, if you want to follow me, at they call me bands, we are here for you and for the culture, for the community. All right, I see we got a couple questions in here, so let me throw it over to the people. Real quick. Okay, simple question. Uh, a real simple question from my friend uh, Julia in Mozambique. Julia's asking, does CJ stand for something? Um, it does, but it's actually my, it's my secret. It's like my, Ooh. like, holy grail of secrets. I don't tell anyone. Like, no one knows what CJ stands for. It's a nickname that I got when I was, like, 10 years old. Um, it's really embarrassing and only, like, my handful a handful of my friends know it and they know if they tell anyone i'll literally shoot them in the foot so oh um, my gosh <laughs> so it's it's like my kryptonite no one knows uh it's just one of those things but so i'm sorry but it's one of those things i can't tell you Ooh, okay okay well now we're all intrigued now i'm like okay maybe next time okay. next time i interview you cj we'll have the we'll have the nikki bands exclusive you know <laughs> And maybe we'll yeah. get into that, or, or, or maybe you just go take that secret to the grave. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking it to the grave. Taking it to the oh grave. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. And I, see, this is why I love asking, like having people from the audience just like ask them questions because <laughs> it's just like yeah. you just never know what people are gonna ask. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, the other question. Um, okay, there's a question in here from uh, Carissa, Charissa. I don't know how to say it. Teresa NB for effective brand communication in Namibia, what's the key point to focus on? Mm. So you need to, you act, absolutely have to focus on your user, right? You have to focus on your user and find out where they are and be where they are, but also be, um, be where they are and what they care about. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So for, for example, for Chomi, we focus on people with great ideas, forward thinkers, right? So um, with, with all our communication, we're helping them get to where they want to be. So the people that use Chummy, Chummy Bites, for example, are people that are working on studying for exams or um, working on a project uh, proposal that they're going to submit or something like that, you know? So they're, they're quite focused. So if they're focused, which we sort of tell them to not, don't get distracted and sort of stay focused. So what they will do is while working on a project, then they would order chubby bikes and be like, okay, cool, I'm gonna eat this quickly. Then I'm gonna get back straight back to the hustle. You know, there's something bigger in front of them. So we're sort of the, just a little bit of a gateway to get them to that, you know? So um, yeah, and I think, I think it comes to that. I think it comes to understanding who your audience is. I think you'll figure out yourself as you go. I know people spend a lot of time trying to figure out what my brand is elements are supposed to be and stuff like that. And I think that is super important. And I think that's stuff we're also still refining. But um, the reason why I think we hit the ground running is because we were where, where our people were and we cared about what they cared about, you know? So I think if you plan on doing that, social media platforms are your, your go-to, but um, yeah, you have to be involved in the conversation, you know? So I, Hope that answers your question, but that's my, my take on it. Okay, okay. And I think that's, yeah. um, that really ties in well with what you were sharing earlier about how you really have to understand your market. You really have to, and you really just have to start. You just have to launch, right? Like, yeah. you don't have to, you know, yes, you want to have a strategy. Yes, you want to have a plan, but also, like, just start. And then the rest will kind of fall into place as you better understand the market and, and the needs. Yeah, yeah, correct. That's all right, all right. Okay, so I'm seeing um, one more question in the chat for you from uh, my dear friend, Melanie, who is here in Cape Town. And she says, when are we seeing you down in Cape Town? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in Cape Town uh, in December. I'm going to come for, for New Year's. I generally come for New Year's. Yeah, so I'm going to be there for New Year's and um, have a good time. I love that place. So she definitely, if you're, if you're in Cape Town, she definitely let me know. Then we can definitely link up, have a coffee or something. 
Yes, a hundred percent. I mean, honestly, knowing who knowing who our mutual friends are, I'm gonna see you on the streets. We can do coffee. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm all, I sure, can tell sure. I'm gonna see you on the streets. I was looking at our mutual friends. I was like, mm -hmm. these are the club of people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't go out like that no more. I really don't. Like I've been such a homebody. But like I like, I like type of like, um, like those kind of like what is it like. Pizza night, pizza and wine night, kind of. Even though I don't like drink, I was just like pizza and wine. I kind of like chill vibes, you know. Um, wine tasting where I just drink um, non-alcoholic stuff like that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So interesting. Yeah. No alcohol for you. I find that I find that a lot of my friends who are incredibly focused and driven actually don't drink alcohol. Well, for me, it's just something. I guess it's just something that never really caught on like i never had that high school phase of like really like going crazy about alcohol or whatever don't get it twisted like um maybe like once a year new year's i'll have champagne like i know how to have uh, I, I like champagne so like i'll enjoy it but yeah in general it's not like alcohol's not part of my life and i don't think i need it you see how much energy i have in general you see me at like a party like people think i'm the one who's like drunk at the party and stuff but i'm just vibing off you know vibing off the I stuff I mean, well, you did say that, you know, how, that that's how you were recruited to be a model, because you were the only one on the dance floor. You got the party started. I don't know how I did. I don't know why I was doing that, but hey, no, <laughs> it got, I, got me I, here. Yeah, I love dancing. So whether I have alcohol or not, I will definitely be on the dance floor. So, okay, this is amazing. Super <laughs> excited that you're coming to Cape Town soon. We're definitely going to link up. Buzz. Can't wait. That's going to be so much fun. Um, Buzz. Yeah, Buzz. Buzz. exciting. All right, well, CJ, that, that's a wrap. We don't have any more questions in the, in the little question box. Anything, anything final you want to say, shout out, or, or, or you know, tell us on the live? Um, I just want to say shout out to you, because I think um, it takes quite a bit of effort to put this kind of stuff together. And I know um, it takes some time to get some momentum and get people on there to watch it and stuff like that. So shout out to you for being consistent and being very professional about things. I think you're I think you're you're a catalyst and you're important for like these type of conversations so people can learn. Um, so don't 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 even doubt the value in what you're doing. I think it's super super important. And I'm hoping I'm hoping people can can flood to your lives and actually bring a lot of attention to it. So anyone watching right now, next time she does a live, please share it with everyone because I think it's I think it's important. So um, yeah, shout out to you for doing this. I think you're a superstar. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate that. Truly, like from the bottom of my heart, that means yeah. a lot to me, especially because the show is, you know, just a couple months old. Like, just like you said, like I had a couple yeah. guests lined up and I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to start and see what happens and see if people like it, see if people join. So hearing that from you, CJ, it really, it really means a lot to me. And you have been an absolutely fantastic guest. You are so captivating. You are so dynamic. You know how to command a crowd. And it's, again, one of the reasons why you are as successful as you are. And we are all here to support you and watch you thrive. So thank you for being part of this journey with me. Thank you. I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone have a good evening. Nikki, good luck with the uh, with, uh, load shedding. <laughs> Hey, I know. I'm about to turn this live off and just be sitting here in the dark. <laughs> Yo, thank you, CJ. This was such a treat. Thank you, everybody, for sticking with us, even with the load shedding, even with the internet issues. We appreciate y'all. We'll catch you next week, next Tuesday, on Nikki Vance Live. Have a great night, CJ. Peace, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.